Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Upgrades. I'm Jeremy Knoll. And I'm John Suarez. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Tyranid Swarm deck from the Warhammer 40,000 Commander decks. This is the one that I got to play on Commander Versus mm -hmm. when we played these, and this one's pretty sweet. So this is a uh, teamer deck, and every single creature in the deck is a Tyranid. So this is a very creature focus, you know, that like tribal focused. So the first thing is uh, the stats here. We have 36 creatures outside of the commander, four instants, six sorceries, six artifacts, eight enchantments, and 39 lands. And as we have said, uh, there are 41 new cards in each of these decks. So this one's gonna be a little bit more difficult to swap out creatures for because every single creature in the deck is a Tyranid. Um, so that kind of matters a little bit because you do have some cards that are reprints, things like uh, Herald's Horn and Icon of Ancestry yep. and uh, Path of Ancestry so that you can um, really use that, uh, or Opal Palace, I'm sorry, Path of Ancestry as well. So you can really use those um, to get where you're going here. Um, but we're gonna go over each of, uh, well, we're gonna go over some of the new cards and then some of our suggestions for upgrades here. So the first thing is, the face card of the deck is the Swarm Lord, and it's a three green, blue, red, five, five, uh, legendary creature Tyranid, and it says rapid regeneration. The Swarm Lord enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it for each time you've cast your commander from the command zone this game. And Xenos Cunning, whenever a creature you control with a counter on it dies, draw a card. So it's a seven seven it for is, six. It is, it is seven seven if you cast it from your commands. The only there's a, you know a few ways you, sure. can, you can get out of there. You can get your um, yeah, command beacon and beacon stuff it out. like that. Yeah, but sure. Yeah, for the most part, this is going to be getting this is going to be a seven seven the first time you cast it yep. from your commands. Them, so, all right, next new card we have is Nexos. Call us in a green. It is a human tyrant tyrannid advisor. It's a two two. It has strategic coordinator. Basic lands you control have tap. Have two colorless. Spend this mana only on costs that contain X. I was really excited about that. This card's really good. Yeah, that card's really good. That card's really good. Um, the one after that, we're going to talk about the secondary uh, uh, commander that can be in the Oh, yeah, it's all the way down here. Yeah, you told me that. Of, yeah. <laughs> uh, Magus Lucia Kane, which is a legendary creature, human tyrannid wizard, 1 1 for 1 green, blue, red. Spiritual leader, at the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature, and then sort of similar to the Nexus, uh, Psychic Stimulus, tap add to colorless. When you next cast a spell with X in its mana cost or activate an ability with X in its activation cost this turn, copy that spell or ability, you may choose new targets for the copy. That seems pretty good. That card's, that's that's real good. I was yeah, it is. excited about that. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, that card's, Surprisingly, not I did not read that card the correct way the first time. So, <laughs> all right, moving on. Uh, so the next card we have is uh, Turvagon. Yep. Uh, X one and a green. It is a Tyranid. It has Ravenous. This creature enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. If X is five or more, you draw a card when it enters. Mm -hmm. uh, then it has Trample, uh, Spawn of Termagants. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you create that many one one green Tyranids, and it, it is a zero zero. So. Yeah. So this is one of the new abilities uh, specific to this deck, Ravenous, where the creatures will have an X cost in their cost, and they enter with that many plus one, plus one counters on them. So uh, that one's pretty neat. Uh, the next one is Adeline Jackal, which I really like. This I card's think, good. I think this card's real good. It's one red-green for a 2-2 creature human Tyranid Scout. It has Trample and Haste, and it says whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Mm -hmm. So if you can give it any sort of uh, extra boost after, you know, those first couple of turns when it starts to get outclassed as a 2-2, or, you know, just suspecting that people are not going to have as many creatures, you can ramp pretty well with this. Yep. Uh, so the next card we have is uh, Melanthrope. Calls green, blue, 2-2, two, two, Tyranid, Flying. As scavenge the dead whenever it enters the battlefield, exile target player's graveyard. And you get a plus one, plus one counter on it for every creature card exiled this way. I like this card. Yeah. I like ways of exiling graveyards, yeah. just kind of like incidentally, and yep. this is a good one to do it with. Yeah, I thought that one was really good for, for that ability, especially when you're if you're playing these against the other three decks, being able to control, especially like the Necrons yeah. graveyard is going to be really clutch. So, uh, Tyrant Guard is our next one. It is a... Uh, three three Tyranid that also has Ravenous, so it is X two and a green. 
and it has a uh, shield wall sacrifice at creatures you control with counters on them gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. I like it. So this is nice because you can just have a 3-3 three, three for 3 uh, that has that ability to give your creatures uh, hexproof and indestructible, or you can make it way bigger later in the game. That's yeah, it I'm feels, uh, it, it, it harkens back and feels like a uh, frontline medic. Yeah. Something along that line. Action, yeah. So. Uh, all right. Next card we have is Toxicrine. If I can find it. <laughs> uh, three colors and a green is a Tyranid 2-4 Reach Death Touch, and it has Hypertoxic Miasma. All lands have tap, add one color, add one mana of any color, and lose all other abilities. I think this one's really cool. So this is sort of like a, uh, what is it? It's not obviously not Blood Moon, but what's the uh, Blood Sun? Blood Sun. Takes all their abilities away, Blood and then they can just, okay. But it makes them all rainbow lands, okay. which is interesting. So it, it's it's interesting in that like it's going to take away some of your things here and there, uh, but it's going to be able to allow you to get any color of mana. Um, but it's also going to take away a bunch of the other random cards that no, it, I like that. that everybody has. Yep. Like, you know, you're going to get reliquary towers. You're going to get those um, yeah, like war rooms. War don't rooms, let that happen. Um, yeah. Rogues passage things sure. like that. They're yep. all going to tap for any color, but you're taking away that ability that they really wanted yep. to use. Uh, the near, ne next one is Hero Fant Bio Titan. It is a 12 12 creature Tyranid for 10 green green. And it says uh, Frenzied Metabolism. As an additional cost to cast the spell, you re may remove any number of plus one plus one counters from among creatures you control. This spell costs two less for each ca uh, to cast for each counter removed that way. It has Vigilance, Reach, and Ward 2 because it needs Because it. of course. Yeah, because of course. And Titanic is the ability. Uh, Hero Fant, the Bio Titan, can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Okay. So you gotta, you gotta have those big creatures to block. Hmm. So this one just seems silly. Um, you're trading in those counters you're making to get a big Vigilance Reach. You almost certainly are trading in several counters yeah. if you want this card to ever hit point. For 12-12, and, uh, and you're going to tromp over all of their big creatures. All right. You would think it'd have uh, some form of trample there, but some I guess it, it can't be blocked by small creatures, so I yeah. guess that counts. All right, and the last new card we're going to cover is a very sweet one. The first Tyrannic War. Two colors, green, blue, red. It is an enchantment saga, so it'll, it all it does not have the read ahead mechanic on no. the saga. This one starts chapter one. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. If its mana cost contains X, it enters with a, it enters the battlefield with a number of plus one plus one counters on it equal to the number of lands you control. So as if you pumped everything into X, basically. Yep. Uh, and then chapter two is double the number of each kind of counter on target creature you control. And number three is the same thing, which is pretty obnoxious. Yeah, it's it's going to be super sweet in other decks too that are using things like uh, like you know just even like the the trample counters and stuff like that that you can add on and then moved over to like the ozolith and stuff like that and yep. manipulate and kind of move around if you need to. So there's a lot of really cool stuff with that one, but that one we did see in the commander versus game that we did play does a lot of work in this yep. deck. So uh, there are a couple of things to look at for this deck. First off is obviously this is a counters deck. Um, as I said at the beginning, every single creature is a Tyranid. So they, if you're going to add in a different creature that is a different creature type, you really need to make sure that it has some sort of really good ability with counters. So the first couple that I've suggested there are Rishkar Pima Renegade, because that's going to get you the uh, couple plus one plus one counters, but it makes all of your creatures with counters on them tap for a green. Yep. Seems good. And then the second one is Loyal Guardian, which is four and a green. I suggest this one for basically anything that's a plus one, plus one counter deck sure. that has green and a trample four, four. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control your commander, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Yeah. So. Seems good. About. And I see you have a uh, another Tyranid here. Yep. One of Magic's first Tyranids. That's Tarian Mauler. For two calls, two, two. Changeling, and whenever an opponent casts a spell, you put a counter on it. Yep. You may. You may. You yeah. should, yeah. but you, you may. Should. So that's like uh, one way to get through that is the shapeshifters are going to have, your changelings are going to have yeah. um, the Tyranid type. So uh, this one works really well. But if you're going to go after any other creatures, kind of look at your changelings first to see what you've got as far as options. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, the next one, one of my favorites, near and dear to my heart, Simic Ascendancy. Enchantment for green and a blue. Pay one uh, green and blue, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. And then one or, one or more plus one, plus one counters are put on a creature you control. Put that many growth counters on Simic Ascendancy. At the beginning of your upkeep, if it has 20 or more growth counters on it, you win the game. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's an enchantment you have to kill. Yeah, very you just much. have to kill the card you have to kill when it. you see it. Yeah, it's a win the game card. Yep. I love it. Uh, and the last card for this this type of deck for the just on the counters, uh, Solidarity of Heroes. Call us in a green instant. It has Strive, so you can pay. Uh, it costs the Call us in a green more to cast for each target beyond the first, and you can choose any number of creatures. Double the number of plus one plus one counters on them. Yeah, and that's going to be pretty really, sweet. Really useful for trying to get to that. Uh, for trying to get to that hero fan by. Well, it's, it's also an play. instant. So mm -hmm. if you happen to have the first tyrannic war, you can respond to the saga trigger. Yep. Or the chapter trigger. Double it. Double and it. Then double, double it. it again. And then and double, double it again. It. Uh, the next one is that uh, the deck is has like an okay amount of draw in it, but just trying to make sure you got a little bit more draw. Mm -hmm. So the first one is Garrick's Uprising. This is one that I've really liked as just an option for your big creature decks. Anything that's going to have like creatures coming in with plus one, plus one counters and stuff like that. Uh, it's a two and a green enchantment whenever it enters the battlefield. If you control a creature with power four or greater, draw a card. Creatures you control have Trample, which is a huge benefit. And then whenever a creature with power four or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Yep. yep. Pretty straightforward. Uh, next card is probably my favorite way to draw cards in green, which is greater good. Uh, two colors and a green, two colors, green, green enchantment. You sacrifice creature, you draw cards equal to the sacrifice creature's power, and then you only have to discard three of them. Yeah, so if you're getting any of those cards that are going to come in that are either from like the first Tyranet, Tyranet Core or um, the Biofant, bio you know, like anything like that, that's just going to have 12. an absurd amount. Yeah, yeah you're going to draw a bunch, discard three, and just be stocked for like most of the rest of the game. Uh, another one that's actually come down in price a lot. because of the fact that it was printed, reprinted in Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate is Kindred Discovery. This is an enchantment for three blue-blue, and it, as it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever a creature you control of the chosen type enters the battlefield or attacks, draw a card. So this was originally printed in Commander 2016, I believe, um, and it was only printed, like, reprinted, like, maybe once before this, and now it's in a bigger set. Just this one. This is the Just first reprint. Oh, yeah, this is the first reprint. Mm -hmm. I was thinking there was an alternative version of it, but nope. yeah, this is the first reprint. So, yeah, because it was reprinted, it has gone down significantly in price and is really good for all your blue decks that are uh, tribal based. So. Yep. Uh, another draw spell Return the Wild Speaker. Four calls on a green instant. You can draw cards equal to the greatest power among non human creatures you control, which there are a few humans in here, but not many. Most of them are just Tyranids. Yep. Um, or you can choose non-human creatures you control, get plus three, plus three until on the turn. So, and it's an instant. I yeah. like that it's an instant. An instant is the big part. Of that. Yes. Uh, the next one is another way to draw a bunch of cards in blue in a uh, creature type matters deck, and that is Distant Melody, three in a blue, sorcery. Choose a creature type, draw a card for each permanent you control of that type. Those are fairies. They are They're not fairies. Tyranids. They're not Tyranids. But you can name Tyranid yeah, now, so that's Tyranid. nice. There's a lot of things you can name. And it is also permanence you control of that type, which I always found funny because this is... Uh, yeah, because you Bitter Blossom yeah, counted towards it. Mm -hmm. counted towards it, so... It's pretty great in that way. So, those are some of the cards that we would suggest upgrading the Tyranid Swarm. Uh, and all of those are under $5. Kinder Discovery just making that mark now because yeah. it has been reprinted. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways you can go with this. Uh, a lot more plus one, plus one counters. One of the cards that I would suggest if you uh, are willing to spend the extra, a little bit of extra on the budget is Unbound Flourishing. That's been one of my favorite cards in my Villainous Wealth X Spells Matter deck, and that is the enchantment. It's like two and a green enchantment. Uh, whenever you cast a spell with X in its cost, if it's a permanent, you make a copy of it, yep. um, and, or a token copy of it, and then if it's a spell, uh, you you make a copy of it, I believe. No, it's if it's a permanent, it comes in with double. Mm. And then if it's a spell, you copy the spell. Yep. I also noticed you uh, you chose uh, greater good to go with the abundance in the deck already. Yeah, that is a, <laughs> that is a good combination. Yeah, there's some there's some good ones. There's some really good reprints in this one too. With um, like lurking predators is in here. Um, I believe there was. Uh, it may not be a quote good re reprint no, as far as valuable, not, not but not like for, death's presence is the death's one. presence. Is, this whole breach yeah, art is sweet. The cultivate art is sweet. Like. They did such a great job with all these cards. Hardened Scales was the one. That's a good was one. Another one I was thinking of. But Death's Presence is a super fun card. Bread for the Hunt is another fun card. Mm -hmm. um, and then a couple of the new, new Horizons and Overgrowth that have, uh, are coming back. So. so yeah, there's some really cool ones in here. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for that deck, though. So make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, binge, and let us know in the comments what cards you would put into this deck. 
Uh, make sure to tune in for all the rest of the Warhammer 40,000 Commander deck upgrades, as well as the rest of the upgrade episodes that we have. For Jonathan Suarez, I'm Jeremy Noll. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time.